Okay, family. We all encounter times in our life when we're up against the wall and we think we have nowhere to turn or nowhere to go. No one to even listen to our problems. A lot of times I get these messages on my YouTube account. With every message, I pray for you. I pray for everybody who leaves a message. Whether I agree with it or not, I still pray for the person who sent the message. God sent the Holy Spirit led you here for a reason. And if it was for me to pray for you, then I am telling you I am doing that. One of the best pieces of advice that I ever got received was from my mother while she was still living. She's been passed away for some time now. I was at a hard time in my life. I had a home and I was about ready to lose my job and I was about ready to lose my home. And I was worried and I didn't know what to do. So, the relationship I was in at the time also was crumbling. I went to, I phoned my mom, because at least she would listen, and she told me, as many moms and dads do, son, if I was but able to, I would help you with finances, or I would help you with this or that. I have nothing to give you but my advice. And so I listened. And she says, whenever I've encountered things that were beyond my scope, I've always laid it down at the feet of Jesus. And he's gotten me through so many things. She went on to give me examples in her life. And when she was done, I got off the phone and I at least felt good that someone had listened to my problems. I knelt down on my knees and I asked Jesus to intervene. I gave him over all my burdens at that time. The burdens that I had, the bills that I couldn't meet, anything that was troubling me and I had faith that he would come through for me. It didn't happen overnight, but within a few months, things began to turn my way. I prayed to him on a regular basis and I thanked him for acting on my behalf and for taking my problems, for taking my burdens from me. Within three months time, I had a new job, I had refinanced my home, and I had even sold it, and was able to pay off some of my debts. This is a testimony of what he will do for you in your life, that if you come to him on bend and knee, and you talk to him in everything that you take the time to write out to me, and you give it over to him. He will act on your behalf. Come before him upon your knees and lay all your burdens at his feet. He loves you so very, very, very much. And he works all things out for the good of those who love him. This is a time where some of the storms are coming upon this world and it is not a time to not have faith. So, I bring up Hebrews 11 today. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds, worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it being dead yet speaketh. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death, 
and was not found, because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had, his, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith Noah, being warned of God of things not yet as seen, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by which he condemned the world, and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. On a subnote here. The garment we wear is faith. We wear faith that Jesus died for us on the cross, that he so loved the world that he gave his life so that we could wear his righteousness. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whether he went. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise and in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which hath foundation, whose builder and maker is God. Through faith also Sarah herself received the strength to conceive the seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore sprang there even of one, and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on this earth. For they that such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they be, had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had an opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country, that is, a heavenly, wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared for them a city. By faith Abraham, when he was tired, when he was tried, offered up Isaac, and he that had received the promise offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said, that in Isaac shall thy seed be called, accounting that God was able to raise him up even from the dead, from whence also he received him in the figure. By faith Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. By faith Jacob, when he was dying, blessed both the sons of Joseph and worshipped, leaning upon the top of his staff. By faith Joseph, when he died, made mention of the departing of the children of Israel and gave commandment concerning his bones. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child, and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. By faith, Moses, when he was come to the years, refused to be called the son of the Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Esteeming the reproach of Christ's greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Through faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of the blood, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. By faith they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, which the Egyptians the same to do were drowned. By faith the walls of Jericho fell, after they were compassed about for seven days. By faith the harlot of Rahab perished not with them that believed not, for she had received the spies with peace. And what shall I say more? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon, and of Barak, and of Samson, and Japheth, and David also, and Samuel, and the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness these all were made strong, waxed valiant in flight, in fight, turned to, fight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens.
women received their dead raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting a deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial with cruel mockings and scourgings, yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sown asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered out in sheepskins and goatskins, goatskins being destitute, afflicted, and tormented, of whom thy world, world was not worthy. They wandered in the deserts and in the mountains and in the dens and the caves of the earth. And these all, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise. God having provided some better thing for us, that they, without us, should not be made perfect. It is at this time that we must have faith. Not just regular faith, but a radical faith. Those of us who are his called out ones, his remnant, his bride, have to have a kind of faith that changes things. Faith moves God to action on our behalf. By turning over our problems to the Lord and having faith in the Lord, our problems are made small. For we can accomplish all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. He goes before us and he makes the crooked pathway straight. He's our shield and our buckler and even our strong high tower. The Lord our God is our protection from all evil. We must find our faith now. If people are struggling now with a lack of faith, what are they going to do when all is shaken? When the trials in your life become more severe? Will you choose total surrender, obedience, and trust in Jesus Christ so that he can draw you closer? Or will you cry out against his name? Because you have to over go through hardships. Remember, all that can be shaken will be shaken. Relationships, finances, residences, all of it. Jesus must be your only source. You must trust him as an innocent child trusts his parents, knowing that he has your best interest at heart, knowing that he will never forsake you, knowing that he has the outcome. He works all things out for the good of those who love him. Learn his word. It speaks truth and life. It is your eternal promise of all that he will do and who he is. It is all you need to finish your race strong. Remember, he won the victory at Calvary. And if you have him in you, you cannot be defeated. Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. I pray that Father God in heaven would cover everyone who is led here to listen to this with the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ, our risen King and Savior. I pray that he would put his hedge of protection around your homes, around your vehicles, around about them on all sides, above and below, around your places of work and worship, around your pets and provisions, around your children, their schools, and their activities. The same hedge of protection he placed around Job and his family. I pray 
that he would strengthen you to overcome the world as he overcame the world, that he would give you his perfect peace as you lay down your burdens and pick up his yoke for it is light. Step out in faith today. Step out in faith if you've been telling you to do something. Step out in faith today. Glory to God in the highest, where he alone is worthy of praise. Glory to our risen King and Savior, Jesus Christ. I thank you, Jesus, for all you have done with me, for continuing to work on me, continuing to change me from the inside out. I thank you for never leaving nor forsaking me, and I lift up my brother unto you, those that are in need, those who need you at this very moment, I pray that you would work in their lives. I pray that all those who come bef before you, you would answer them and show them your love as you have shown me many, many times in my life. I love you with all my heart and I thank you for all that you do. You are my King of Kings and Lord of Lords. In Jesus Christ, most holy, holy name, I pray to our Father who art in heaven. His will be done in his perfect timing. Amen and amen.